summer's end around the bend, just flying. The swimming suits are on the line, just trying. I'll meet you there. There are conversation. I hope I didn't ruin your whole vacation. Well, you never know how far from home you're feeling until you watch the shadows cross the ceiling. Well, I don't know, but I can see it snowing in your car. The windows are wide open. Just come on home. Come on home. No, you don't have to be alone. Just come on home. Valentine's. Hey guys, great to see you, Joe here, and welcome to another lesson. So there you heard my own little tribute to the great John Prine, who recently passed away. And the song is called Summer's End, and I'd like to show you how to play this one, because it's a really lovely track, and it's not terribly difficult, and it's a good one for those of you who are looking to kind of get started with a little bit of finger picking as well. So let me zoom on in like I usually do and start explaining the song to you. Okay, so let me break this one down for you then. John Prine plays this with a capo on the second fret. And we start out with a C chord. Okay, I'm sure most of you will know the C chord. And it goes to an E minor chord. Okay, so it's cycling between these two kind of chords in the intro. So what we have is we have an alternating bass running through the song. That's important to know. And when we're playing the C chord, the bass notes are 5, 4, 5, 4. Like so. Now the song starts with the 5th string and the 2nd string being played in unison. But we take off the index finger like so. We pluck the 5th and the 2nd. And then we hammer that index finger back on that 2nd string 1st fret. Okay? So that's the 5th and 2nd strings in unison off with the index and then on and then we play four in the bass so we have then we play first string open so we now have and we go back to the five in the bass okay so we've got and we play the second string so we have and we finish with a pinch in unison the third and fourth strings and it tends to just do this on the intro and it repeats that then it goes to an E minor now when we play an E minor chord we're going to play 6-4 in the bass yeah like so Okay, so that's just the second string and the top string in unison, then the fourth, back to the sixth, then the third, okay, so we got, then the fourth, and then open first, so we have... finish on that top string there, the E. Okay? Then it just repeats that whole figure again. Okay, now if you can play that, that's something that goes throughout the song in one way or another. It slightly changes here and there. But if you can play that, you kind of play that throughout the whole song and it will sound fine. 
Okay, so that's the intro. Now the verse starts with exactly the same figure. So we have summer's end around the bend, just flying. The swimming suits. Now at this point we go to an F chord, okay, and we have. Now you can play an F however you want to play. You can play the bar or you can play it like me. I'm just playing the bottom two strings of the first fret, then the third string of the next fret along, and then the fourth string on that third fret with my thumb over the top to play the bass. Now when we play the bass in the F it's 6-4 again, just like the E minor. And there's very little going on in the top end. You can kind of just tickle this second and third strings. The important thing is, is that the bass continues seamlessly. So we have. Okay, and all I'm playing there is the sixth and the third together. Fourth, second, same again. And we go to a G chord, but we're just playing the top half of a G, so we're just playing this 5th string 2nd fret and the 6th string on the 3rd fret. In other words, we're not playing this 1st string on the 3rd fret. When we do play a note on this 3rd fret, we play it on the 2nd string. So we have the F. So that's just the top and bottom strings in unison. And I should also point out that it's 6 and 4 in the bass for the G chord. So that's top and bottom strings in unison followed by the 4th string. 6, 4 again. Then we put that little finger on the 2nd string as I explained and we play the 6th and the 2nd string in unison. Then back to the bass, 6, 4, then we go back to the F, same as what we did before, and same with the G. So now let me play you a complete verse so you know for sure how everything is going and you can see both hands. And if you're still struggling, I have done a tab over at Patreon for anybody who's interested. Summer's in around the bend, just flying. Same again. The swimming suits around the land, just drying. I'll meet you. Okay, so that's a complete verse you should have now. The second verse runs straight after the first one. So now we come to the chorus and we have the C is doing exactly the same thing. But then we go to an A minor and we stay with the 5-4 in the bass and also with this on off with the index finger. So we pluck the fifth and the second strings when we're on the A minor. Hammer on again, like that. And then once we've played the fifth and second in unison, we go down to the four in the bass and the first string open. So we have then five in the bass and then the second and the third string. So we have just come on home.
That's our F, 6-4 in the bass. Okay, so this time we're playing the 6th and the 3rd in unison. Now, as I say, on this F and G, there's not a lot happening in the top end, so feel free to kind of, you know, maybe make it your own. The important thing is that steady bass 6-4. Now, when we go into the G, Okay, but it's the same thing, we're not playing that bottom string on the 3rd fret there, we're just playing the top half. And we start out by playing the 6th string and the 2nd in unison. Okay, so it's important to get that little hammer on there, onto the kind of 2nd string of the 1st fret. As I say, just try and experiment with those second and third strings in the top end. Just come on. Then we're back into the, the kind of intro section, yeah? C to E minor. Then there's another verse, and then there is another chorus. Now, on the second chorus, differs slightly from the first one. Because when we come out, everything within the chorus remains the same. It's just that when we come out of the chorus, rather than going back into the intro chords, we don't. We go into an F and a G. So we're just going... F... and G... And then it goes into another verse, which we've already covered. And then after the final verse, we come to the final chorus, which is just a chorus played twice. So let me just play that for you slowly. Okay, so we have just come on home. back into it. Come on home. A minor. You don't F have to be alone. And it finishes on a C. Come on home. And there you have it guys. That's pretty much the whole song. So I hope that that helps you guys. As I say, it's a pretty basic song. If you're still struggling in any way, I have done a tabs over at Patreon, as I mentioned, and that'll clarify any little areas that you're not sure about, along with quite a bit of his other material as well. I've done a few other songs of John Prine's. And if you're not familiar with him, I'd definitely recommend you check out some of his music, because he really was a music legend and a fantastic songwriter. So as I say, guys, I hope that that helps you, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop those down below. I'll always do my best to try and help you out with those and in the meantime stay safe and keep well and i look forward to seeing you soon with another lesson thanks for watching